The following video is a recap of Bulbasaur Community Day Classic. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I'll be covering Bulbasaur Community Day Classic, which of course is pretty much one of the OG community days in Pokemon Go which of course it's original time like previous community days prior to 2020 were always from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time and of course I will be able to hopefully catch a lot of shinies and tell you how I did at the end of this video. As you see here, Niantic decided to um, give us a throwback community day and even take us back to its scheduled times of 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. And of course, this is Bulbasaur Community Day Classic. And I'm going to talk about the special research tasks if you bought the ticket for a dollar or equal equivalent currency depending on which part of the world you are in. For step one, the tasks you had to do were power up a Pokemon 10 times with your reward of 15 Pokeballs, catch 15 Bulbasaur with your reward of a Bulbasaur encounter and make five nice throws with your reward of 20 Bulbasaur candies. The total rewards were 2,000 Stardust, a Bulb Bulbasaur encounter, and one inset sent. For step two, you had to catch 15 Bulbasaur with your reward of 30 Bulbasaur candies transfer 10 Pokemon with your reward of a Ivysaur encounter and evolve 3 Bulbasaur with your reward of 15 Pineapp Berries and the total rewards were 1,500 XP, a Bulbasaur encounter, and 1 Incense. For step 3, you had to make 3 great curveball throws with re your reward of 50 Bulbasaur candies, evolve one Ivysaur with your reward of one Star Piece, and transfer 10 Pokemon with your reward of 15 Great Balls, and your total rewards were 2,500 XP, one Rocket Radar, and 15 Ultra Balls. 
as the last and final step for this. You automatically claim the rewards, which were three times the Enosaur Mega Energies, and your total rewards were 3,000 Stardust, a Venusaur Encounter, and two Rare Candies. And of course, it did take me a while until I encountered my first two Shinies during the making of this video, and then I encountered a handful more while I was streaming over on Twitch. Pretty much, you're gonna see how I did at the end of this video as I leave you to my favorite Kevin McLeod track, Newer Wave. Um, please note, I was invited to a Genesect raid during the making of this portion of the video. If you're wondering why Genesect is in this video, because I was invited while I was in the middle of shiny hunting. And if you're wondering, did I catch this Genesect? Unfortunately, it, I did not, as it got away. Forgot to mention that earlier. Well, unfortunately, this community day was mediocre for me. My final shiny count was only six. Yes, six shiny Bulbasaur. But of course, next time, it'll be much better. Seeing as I'm glad Niantic, in my opinion, moved community days much earlier, which gave people more time and more chances to catch as many shinies as they could but of course I still had fun and I caught four more while I was live streaming and two during the making of this video in the meantime this is Lewis saying thanks for watching everyone you can also follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook Twitch and TikTok and remember adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask, whether it's a KN95, N95, or double masking in public indoor settings. Practice social distancing, wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you. Most importantly, get vaccinated and boosted, and of course, stay safe, stay healthy, and together, we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.